Morning peeps, let's read. This is written by E.G. White. The verse for today is Ephesians 3, 19. To know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Fallen man is Satan's lawful captive. The mission of Christ was to rescue him from the power of his great controversy. Man is naturally inclined to follow Satan's suggestions, and he cannot successfully resist so terrible a foe unless Christ, the mighty conqueror, dwells in him, guiding his desires and giving him strength. God alone can limit the power of Satan. Satan knows better than God's people the power that they can have over him when their strength is in Christ. When they humbly entreat the mighty conqueror for help, the weakest believer in the truth, relying firmly upon Christ, can successfully repulse Satan and all of his hosts. Satan will call to his aid legions of his angels to oppose the advance of even one soul and, if possible, wrestle it from the hand of Christ. But if the one in danger perseveres and in his helplessness casts himself upon the merits of the blood of Christ, our Savior listens to the earnest prayer of faith and sends a reinforcement of those angels that excel in strength to deliver him. Satan cannot endure to have his powerful rival revealed to, for he fears and trembles before his strength and majesty. At the sound of fervent prayer, Satan's host trembles. Through the power that Christ gives, we can be more than conquerors, but we cannot manufacture this power. Only through the Spirit of God can we receive it. We need a deep insight into the nature of Christ and into the mystery of his love, which passes, passeth knowledge. We are to live in the warmth, genial rays of the Son of Righteousness. Nothing but Christ's loving compassion, his divine grace, his almighty power can enable us to baffle the relentless foe and subdue the opposition of our own hearts. What is our strength? The joy of the Lord. Let the love of Christ fill our hearts, and then we shall be prepared to receive the power that he has for us. Let us thank God every day for the blessings that are ours. For obvious reason, that's wonderful. We all know that there's a war going on and that Satan is there ever trying to convince us of his side. And it's, it's not, no, we don't want to. Let's not and say we did. So I love that whole, you know, God is there. All it takes is a prayer and it makes Satan tremble. How awesome is that? I mean, you can't get any more exciting than that. I have a couple of songs for you peeps. These are kind of older ones that I have liked for a long time. And the first one is Basics of Life. And it's sung by, for him. Uh, it's sung by other people, but that one I kind of, tingles my heart. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then the other one is I Can Only Imagine, and that one I have is sung by Mercy Me, another great song that multiple singers sing it, and if you have a favorite one, that's great, but those are a couple of mine that they're not real old, but they're like, you know, I don't know, six, seven years old. They're not like new, new, but TMI. Anyways, I love them a lot, so I thought I would share them with you. I have my book. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We are so grateful that you gave us your son to die for us and that we can just say a prayer and we make Satan tremble. Help us to remember that, Lord, because we want to make him tremble every single day. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the one in the books and the one that isn't in the book. All of them, Lord, they all need you in one way or another. Teach them how to lift you up in prayer so that Satan trembles. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. 
please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.